Hey guys, how's it going? So I've got one of these products. So it's uh, called the Anbernic RG35XX. What it is, if you don't know what it is, it's a handheld console that's um, from obviously from the company called Anbernic. But what it has is it kind of looks a bit like a Game Boy. Um, if you um, if you don't know what it is, then yeah, you can probably do a Google search just to quickly find out. Um, but if you are familiar, um, it, it sort of um, is. Well, I think it's a pretty cool product because it's it's a great holiday gift now that you know Christmas is coming and if you're thinking of getting some gifts. This is definitely one of those that you can probably get um, a special someone, um, whether it, it be you know someone young or you know one of the, the old school OGs who might appreciate you know these types of products. So what I'll do is um, if you're interested in knowing what it's like, because I, I did get this just quite recently. If you are interested in knowing what's inside, um, if you were to get them now. Um, yeah, this is pretty much the video. So yeah, let's go ahead. Um, but yeah, just quickly looking at the box. So you've got the writing over here with the, um, obviously what the device uh, looks like. Um, you've got some, some more writing here. Um, and this one is the translucent purple version as well. So yeah, it'd be cool to see what that looks like. So yeah, let's go ahead. Let's um, essentially you get these two sort of sticky tapes uh, at the bottom. All you've got to do is just cut that. And once you've done that, we can have a look. Um, before I open this up though, when I did buy this product, it did come with a bag. So it came in a separate bag, uh, bag in a bag. So yeah, um, we'll unbox that as well or open that up but yeah we'll um let's take a look at this one let's see what we get nice um so that's the product there um kind of looks like you can't really take that off unless you sort of pour the device over there we go um so that's that off before we take a look at this, let's have a look at what's in the box. So you do get two sets of wipes, so it kind of tells you which order you need to use the wipes for. Some information pamphlet, so if you want to have a look at how to use the product. But we're not going to be looking at that. Um, we're just too excited to look at the product. And this seems to me that it's the, um, yeah, so it's the screen protector for the screen. So that's, that's pretty cool that they're kind enough to give you these. So that's awesome. Um, okay, what else is in there? Because I, I feel like there's something here. I assume it's the charging cable. And given the size, I assume it's just, yeah, just a cable. Um, there's no charger or anything. So it's USB-A to USB-C so you do so I assume that the, um, the console can be charged with a USB-C um, that's pretty cool so we'll pop that back in and put that back in the box um, so yeah that's that's awesome stuff so now we'll jump in and have a look at the actual console itself so it does come with this really um matte um matte finish uh, sort of plastic and then it comes with like a kind of like a a foam type material to cover the surface and here we go um there's nothing around the device that you need to peel so it's all clean um the purple looks really nice in person. Um, here you go, and you, you've got some product information there um, from Enbernic. Um, kind of looks like you've got a micro SD card slot there, and 
an empty one. I did buy I, the one that I did purchase only came with um, 64 gigabytes. I assume that's the 64 gigabyte uh, micro SD card there. Got the power button. There's another button here with an R. I assume that's kind of like the old school reset button, um, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, this kind of looks like there's like a plus and a minus, so maybe the volume rocker. Um, that looks like the um, like an HDMI um, micro HDMI port, so maybe you can plug that onto the TV. That's pretty cool. Um, so yeah. Um, and then you've got the USB-C um, port, so that's for charging because it says DC. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but yeah, it says DC right up there. Then the headphone jack with like a headphone um, icon there. So, yep. Cool. The buttons feel really good, like it's pretty firm. Or oh, I'm not an expert in button um, buttons or anything but yeah to me it feels like it's pretty pretty good like you can game with it and, and feel really nice um, yeah it's not mushy or anything like that uh, not from from my perspective anyway so you've got some buttons here at the back of, as well so you've got the R1 L1 R2 L2 and clicking on it they're pretty good so yeah I mean from a quality standpoint um, I think it's pretty good um, it's actually a really well built product from my perspective and I assume that's the um, speaker for this device we just chuck this back in to sort of protect it um, we won't chuck it in the bag just open this one up just so you know exactly what to expect if you were to get the product with the bag and because you might decide that you might not want the bag but I think in this case probably think it's worth it but not having seen the bag um, well I'm seeing it now obviously but yeah um, so this one looks like it's been opened but yeah um no that's not too bad um yeah so this is the bag um it has the word anbernic there um where you hold the zipper has like a holding string as well so that's pretty cool um so if you open it that's what it looks like um kind of looks like it's a bit um there's like an indent upwards there so i assume when you're let's get the um the console again so you know how yeah it's kind of like there's that gap there so i guess that's what this one is for so if you're putting it in I'm just using logic here i think that's how it is i assume this is for the cable and if you want to keep it with your device you can chuck that cable here and yeah you'll be carrying that with you Maybe, um, you can zip that up and yeah you can lug that around but yeah obviously I'd recommend that before you do that you install the uh, screen protector so you don't you don't break the screen just like you know you, some of your other uh, handheld or mobile devices like your phone um, so set that aside. Um, I suppose what I can do now is I can show you guys what it looks like if we um, boot it up. So let's take a look. Okay. So, so, we've got game rooms, favorites, history, search. Nice. So you can sort of search through the device. 
um, and you've got settings. So that's what the main menu looks like. Um, I should zoom in so you can have a look. Here we go. So yeah, so that's what we have. Um, and it's pretty, it's, sounds pretty loud, but from what I can see, it has number 10 with the volume icon there. So I assume you can change the, that volume. So I can, as I'm pressing the uh, negative icon from the volume rocker, um, I can see the number going down as I'm pressing it. So that's, that's good. And yeah, this goes, yeah, at about three, you can't really hear the clicking, but when you go above five and six, you start, it starts to become audible. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Um, so if you click on the gamers, so it kind of looks like it sort of puts you in the PS1 game um, as your first option there, but you can obviously obviously scroll down so you can get vertical arcade, CPS1, CPS2, CPS3. I actually don't know what these three mean. You've got Neo Geo game, FB Neo game, I'm not sure what that is. This is probably the Neo Geo console. I think Mame game is the uh, your arcades. You've got Game Boy Advance, uh, the old Nintendo game, um, or the family computer, as they used to call it. We've got the Super Nintendo, or SNES, that's what that is. SMS, that looks like the Sega console. Um, MD, Mega Drive, I think it is. We've got the Game Boy Color, and Game Boy, of course, so these would be quite suitable for this device, because, I mean, it's shaped like a Game Boy, or a Game Boy Color. Um, PCE game, I'm not sure what that is, I don't know what NGPC is. If you do know, please have a look at the, uh, please uh, give me some comments down below. I assume this is Game Gear, but I don't know. And I think this is Wonder Swan, um, which is also one of those small consoles. So, yeah, I think um, this one's pretty cool. Maybe what I can do, just uh, as a bit of a showcase, is... Sorry, just give me a second. You can have a look at the... Um, you can turn on one of the games. Maybe we'll try like a PS1 game. Um, this one would be great to do. Um, Try Disney's Hercules. Um, uh, no, probably not that. Um, well, Final Fantasy VII's a bit classic, so we'll try that. Might increase the volume. Oh, it's in. Uh, what language is that? Um, yeah, that's it kind of looks like you might have to. Um, yeah. so I might, what I might do is I'll press the menu, that might take me back. I'll exit. It kind of looks like the. Um, you're gonna have to uh, find another game. And from what I understand from these products is that you can replace the ROMs, so I'm gonna have to replace that one because it's not in English. I'll try the, um, yeah, so I mean, from what I can see, like some of these are, well, we'll try Pac Man. The screen is actually pretty good, like now that I'm seeing it. Um, so 
you can see it's a very PS1 game. I might press start just to see if I'm ready to chomp. Um, okay, not too familiar with that one. Maybe it's just loading. Oh, okay. Oh, right, here we go. Oh, right. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, this is the classic game. Um, we turn down the volume a bit. So, it looks like it's pretty good. Oh. Try a Game Boy Color game. Maybe we'll try. Yeah, we'll just try. That's classic. Too bad. It's nice, the colors pop out, the screen's great, it's not too bright. Um, from what I'm reading here on the side, if you press the menu and uh, press the rocker box um, button, so you can either dim the screen or increase the brightness. So that's pretty cool, that's pretty handy. If um, you're Bright, brightness sensitive. Um, what we'll do though is we'll exit this game. We're really just trying out how good the um, the emulation is. So I mean, we can probably try a NES game. Uh, we'll try Contra. Contra is quite classic. Um, Pretty cool. There we go. The B button is to shoot. Still got it. Um, yeah. That's pretty cool. Oh. Yeah, so that's amazing. Um, If you do like the content, um, please make sure to leave me a like and subscribe to the channel. That'd be really good if you could. But yeah, um, that's it. Um, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.